Hello folks and welcome to the special edition of the Atomic Drop. My name is Kyle Cruz and we're going to try something a little bit different here today. This isn't a full-fledged show. It's just me, Kyle Cruz, by myself. And what I'm going to do either every day or at least two to three times a week is I'm going to break down the top three or four news stories of the day from both WWE and TNA. Uh, actually, the first story is actually kind of sad. Um, Long-time fans would remember this name. WIInsider.com reported earlier today that former enhancement talent Conrad Ephraim, noted WWF fans as Special Delivery Jones, passed away at age 63. After suffering a stroke, Ephraim passed away this past Sunday in Antigua, where he lived. Although Jones was used primarily as an enhancement talent, his matches were rarely squash matches, and he worked a lot of offense against his opponents before eventually doing the job. Over many top main event players at this time with the then WWF. He actually teamed up with uh, Tony Atlas, current ECW superstar, manager of Mark Henry, by the way. He uh, teamed up with Tony Atlas, and actually, the two actually challenged for the WWF Tag Team Championship several times in the early 1990s. Definitely uh, from everybody here at the Atomic Drop Show, we want to extend the entire family our condolences, and we will have more to say about him during this week's show, Atomic Drop Show number 14. The next piece is about TNA. I know, right? TNA. Well, don't worry, the story is not that important. The Wrestling Observer is reporting that the divorce between Kurt and Karen Angle is now final. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette issued a divorce notice in their paper late last week, and Karen appeared on the Bubba the Love Sponge show and spoke out about the divorce being final. She claimed all the issues between her and Kurt had been settled. Although Karen's profile and, and uh, photos are still on TNA's website, it should be noted that the company has no plans on bringing her back. And I, for one, cannot care. This is strictly a rumor also on the TNA from Big Papa Pump. Scott Steiner is in Orlando and should be returning to TNA TV either on tonight's taping or Tuesdays, or maybe both. Steiner had knee surgery to repair a torn ACL on June 24, 2008. He had injured his knee at the Sacrifice pay-per-view, working Kaz and Samoa Joe to try to work around the injury for a while thereafter. After surgery and several months of recovery and rehab, Steiner wrestled for PWA on September 21st in Detroit, and his TNA return has been assumed since. Big news here coming out of uh, Cyber Sunday last night. They're going to be announced through a vignette, or vignette, however you say the word, that John Cena will be returning to the ring at Survivor Series on November 23rd, 2008. The show airs live from Cena's hometown of Boston, Massachusetts. So maybe we might see Cena return at Survivor Series maybe a couple weeks before. Maybe tonight on Raw. Speaking of tonight on Raw, we will see these matches as WWE.com has announced the following matches as they will take place on Raw tonight. We will see a tag team title match, the match that we could have seen last night at Cyber Sunday but didn't. CM Punk and Kofi Kingston will take on Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase. We will see two friends go at it in a Raw for this ECW match. Rey Mysterio taking on Evan Bourne and in the main event, a tag team match. Batista and Shawn Michaels will take on JBL and Chris Jericho. Of course, Batista, your new World Heavyweight Champion, and we will have a bunch to say about that and more later on this week on the Atomic Drop Show. Until then, my name is Kyle Cruz, and hopefully I will be back tomorrow, if not definitely Wednesday, for another news update. This has been a special edition of the Atomic Drop Show. We'll see you next time.